Yes, I'm missing a nail. Hi. <laughs> so this video is going to be me just showing you really quickly how I put on my press on nails. Now, in a previous video, I did an unboxing from Never Too Much Glitter. She makes unique handmade nail art, entire nail sets on Etsy. Okay, so I'm going to put a link to her shop in the description box. And I'm also going to pin a comment down below where you can find her nails. One of the things that I really like about her nails is she gives you so many, I mean, so many nails. As you can see, I've got like all of these on and I still have all of these left, which if you're like me or if you're new to using glue on nails, you may notice that maybe your index finger over here is not exactly the same size as this one over here, you know, or that that's been my experience because my nails have a tendency to like really curve upwards like this. And this one over here is a size four. This one may be a different size. So, you know, it's nice to have all of these options. Now, when I remove my nails, I'm not going to show how I do that because it's a lengthy process for me. But when I get ready to remove my nails, I don't soak them in acetone or anything like that because I like to reuse my nails if they still look good. Now, when you wear your nails for a while, the glue is just automatically going to start breaking down and your nails are going to start popping off. Okay, that's a sign that, look, it's time to take them off. So what I do is I like go take a bath and I soak my hands in really warm water. Well, actually <laughs> as warm as I can stand it. I soak my hands in that water a good five or 10 minutes. And then I have cuticle oil and I take a brush. Now, if your cuticle oil does not come with a brush, you can just use a paintbrush. Soak your hands, take it out, dip a brush in your cuticle oil, and then just start working it under the edge. Start working that oil under there. Once you get the oil all the way around your nail, just soak your hands again for another five to 10 minutes, take them out, just get that cuticle oil and work it up underneath there. Not only is that helping to nourish your nail, but it's helping the nail to just release. And you'll probably notice at one point when you take them out of the water and you take that brush and you start putting the oil under it, they're just gonna fall off and you did not damage your natural nail. Another thing that you can do if you want, is you can take clear nail polish and put one or two coats of clear nail polish on your natural nail. Once that is completely dry, then glue the nail on top of that, okay? So then once, if they do pop off or if you try to pop them off yourself, you're just going to be popping them off of that polish and not your real nail, okay? I've been wearing full press on nails for a very, very long time. I took a break for like a year or so, then went back into them hardcore, and my nails are not damaged in any way. When you do remove those nails, they will have... Now, this is a brand new nail, okay? But when you take your old ones off, you'll see that they probably have some glue residue on the back. You can take a Q-tip... Soak that in some acetone and then just gently buff it away. Or if it's really stubborn, <laughs> I have like a little diamond bit on my Dremel tool and I just turn it on low and I just buff it away real gently. And you can reuse nails several times using that method. But as far as putting them on, mine stay on at least a good two weeks if I don't take them off because I see another pretty set and I'm like, ah, you know, I want to put these on. But um, leaving them alone, they'll stay on for me a good two weeks. Now, what I do is I make sure that my hands have not been wet for at least four to five hours before I do this because your nail, depending on your nail type, can be very porous and it will absorb moisture, okay? And it can take a while for your nails to dry out. Now, if your nails have sucked up a bunch of moisture and then you go to glue the nail on, they're going to release way prematurely, okay? And I like to put my nails on before I go to bed because I don't want to get my hands wet for a good six to eight hours after I put them on. So I always suggest doing it right before you go to bed. Now, I don't really buff my real nail hard, okay? Just, just very lightly. So just barely enough to just scuff it. Some people like really get in there. I don't do that. You don't need to do that. I just buff it just a tiny, tiny bit. Like I said, this is my real nail and it is not damaged. Um, just buff it a little bit. This is the nail file and the nail glue that actually came in this kit. So now that it is buffed, I don't wipe it with acetone because like I said, once again, you don't want your nail to be wet. I just take my shirt <laughs> and just, you know, wipe it off. 
um, my nasty craft shirt that has Mod Podge and <laughs> Mod Podge and paint and stuff all over it. But my favorite kind of glue is the Kiss Pink Gel Glue. Now, I don't know what kind of glue this is. It's the kind that she said sends in the kit. Um, if you order this separately on her site, you can get this kit that comes with the glue, the file, and this plus the nails, okay? So I don't know what brand this is. When I go to put on a new set, I always, I don't care how much glue I have left in the container, I always throw it away and open up a brand new tube of glue. Now that I've buffed that nail, pick out whichever size is correct, and this is the correct size for my nail. And if you can see the back of the nails, they're really shiny, right? You wanna scuff them up a little bit so that they will hold the glue better. So I'm just taking this file that she sent, and I'm just gonna, like, just scuff it up a little bit. <sighs> Make sure all of the dust is out. I've already pushed back my cuticle. Now I'm gonna take the glue. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Oh, wow, that didn't zoom in much. I'm just gonna take the glue and put like a light coat all over the nail. Stay about an eighth of an inch away from the very edge because you don't want all the glue to press out once you put the nail on. So now I'm going to pick up the nail and I'm just gonna put a tiny, tiny little dot of glue there and I'm gonna spread it around a little bit. Try not to get it on your fingers. And I press it down from the back where my cuticle is and then just lay it down towards the front. Now I'm gonna hold this pretty tightly for a good 30 seconds. Some people say 10, some people say 20. I say a good 30 seconds, okay? A good 30 seconds to make sure that it gets a really, really good bond. And that's all that I do to mine. Um, I do paraffin wax treatments on my hands like two or three times a week. It does not affect the nails, N not so far. I've not ever had a problem with the paraffin wax dips um, affecting the glue, but that's all I do. It's really simple. And if it does pop off and you're not ready to take your set off, just use some acetone and remove the glue remove the glue from the back of the nail and then reapply it, okay? Now I have slammed my hand into the wall <laughs> and I've dropped things and went to grab it, you know, and, and banged my nails on the floor and, and knocked one off, but um, all right, there we go. Now sometimes I do get a little overzealous with the glue like I did right here, and then I'll just go back and I'll take this little file and buff it off. But yeah, that's all I do. That's all I do to mine. And this is what they look like on. Are those not pretty? I love these. Now with me and rhinestone nails, um, especially the cheap kinds that you can get like at Walmart, you know, Walgreens, the Kiss brand, I have a bad habit of knocking those rhinestones off. But the handmade nails, you know, these are made by like nail artists and they take their time, they take pride in their work. Um, and I can tell right here that this gemstone is really well epoxied on there. I don't know if you can see, damn it, there you go. I don't know if you can see that glue right there, but, um, I think these are going to hold up for a while. So let's see what they do. And the one that I just put on had a little dream catcher, but so cute. I'm very happy with these. But anyway, that's what I do. And I hope it helped all of you that were asking questions. So if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.